how to make life go your way when life is falling apart. These three things will dramatically change your life from this point on and show you that things are not falling apart, but they are falling into place. Talk is cheap, so fuck what people say. When I was 12, a crazy lady told me lead the way. I shed a tear cause it was rare, swore to never stray. Now, now every second is a classic when nothing lasts. Gotta take a moment and appreciate the fact that this world is turning Kings and Queens, welcome to my channel or welcome back to the channel. My name is Abdul and in this video, we're going to be talking about how to make life go your way. Now, the first things first, meditation. What is the importance of meditation and how does this actually make life go your way? Well, look, you can't solve a problem when you are the problem. What, am I, what do I mean by this, right? When you are just so involved in something, it's so hard to get a different perspective. And so when you are so involved in your own life that you become the life, you become everything that's going on, it's very, very difficult to get an outside perspective. And what meditation allows you to do is to observe you, right? When you begin to observe who you are, your actions, your behaviors, your emotions, you begin to realize that, Life is actually going your way, but because you became so involved in everything that you were doing, it became very, very difficult to observe yourself, right? What do athletes do when they're trying to better their game, right? They watch film. They watch themselves play, just like you. If you want to create a change in your life and actually make life go your way, you need to watch you. Right, You need to observe yourself. You need to learn from your current mistakes, your current thoughts, emotions, beliefs, and behaviors, and then you create a change. Right, If you want to make life go your way, you have to understand why life isn't going your way. And meditation is the way to do that because you observe yourself. Number two. Where are you going? A lot of times people are like, oh, life just isn't going my way, but they don't know where they want life to go. So how, how do you even know if life is not going your way if you don't have a direction that you're trying to take it? Just because they don't feel good, right? Just because they don't have this emotion of, of, of happiness and joy and they feel maybe depressed and anxious, they're like, life isn't going my way. But they're not taking the steering, right? You're not steering life in a certain direction. And that's why life isn't going your way. If you have a clear, clear goal, Right. You're like, OK, I want to go here in this amount of time. And this is what I want to do where right? you have absolute clarity. Well, then everything that happens along the way is helping you go toward that. But if you don't have a direction that you're going in, it's going to be very, very difficult to make life go your way. So that's the second thing. Make sure that you have a direction that you're trying to go in. And number three. And in my opinion, this is probably one of the biggest ones and how to consistently build momentum. Okay. When life isn't going your way, you've built momentum, right? You've, you've had multiple things not go your way. And then you ended up in this pit and you're like, oh, life is just not going my way. Right. And so it took many, many things to happen, which led you to eventually end up in this pit of despair. But you need to build momentum going the other way. You need to build momentum for life actually going your way, right? And the thing is, it's not all bad. You have very, very small wins that you're not aware of and that you don't actually celebrate. What happens is it's so easy to, to accept the negative and to put all your attention on the negative because it's like one positive thing is worth 10 negative things, right? But people don't celebrate the positive. When was the last time you celebrated you doing well and you're like, I'm happy with myself. I'm happy with everything that I'm doing. And you just celebrated yourself. This normally doesn't happen. I know I don't do it enough. And that's why I began to celebrate the smallest wins. If I get up on time and I start doing my things, I celebrate because this is a small win. This is an indicator that life is actually going my way. And so for you, every time you do something that you wanted to do and things are happening, celebrate the win. It's a small win. It doesn't matter how small you go and you eat your food and you're like, okay, well, I was hungry. Now I'm full. Celebrate, man. You Life is going your way. Make sure that you celebrate your wins because this is how you build momentum and show yourself that life is going your way. These are the three things that you must, must do in order to make sure that life is going your way when everything else is falling apart. And also, 
Hey, just a little side note. Remember, things are always going to happen and you're always changing. So you're not always going to be stuck in this one point for the rest of your life. So don't determine your future based on your current circumstances. Remember, where are you going? That is the biggest, biggest thing. I love you guys. I appreciate you. I hope that you genuinely got value from this video. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, the one-to-one -one free consult has opened up if you want to enroll in my coaching program to help you fall in love with your life. If things aren't going your way and you need more help and you want assistance, a step-by-step -step process that I've created, I would love to help you out. Go ahead, go in the links in the description down below and click that. Set up a meeting. There's a little survey you have to fill out just to make sure that we are actually compatible and I can offer you the things that I am promising. But without further ado, y'all, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.